Michael Ross, I'm assistant U.S. attorney Anita Gibbs. And unlike you, I'm a real attorney. I'm not answering any questions until I speak to my lawyer. I heard you ask for him before, but while we're waiting, I just wanted to let you know that I'm the one who's going to put you in jail. Nothing? Maybe you think that you've committed a victimless crime, but let me assure you, you haven't. By my estimation, you've worked on 88 legal cases in your so-called career, and you committed fraud every time you picked up the phone, mailed a letter, signed your name, or appeared in court. Each instance carries a nine-month sentence. And to tell you the truth, I am too tired to do the addition. Well, I'm not. If what you're saying is true, and there's a limit of one count per case, and I'll be going to prison for 66 years. I've always been good at math. Well, I haven't. But what I am good at is putting away fake, cocky, tough guys like you and seeing them break. So here's how this is gonna go. You play ball, I go easy on you. You don't. In my experience, college boys, even fake ones, don't do well in prison. And if you think your people are rushing down here to bail you out, you've got another thing coming. Because I'm gonna keep you in here all night. Okay. I'll confess. But I want the whole thing on tape. Thank God I need to talk to you. Rachel, calm down. What's going on? Mike's been arrested. What? Two men from the U.S. Attorney's Office, they just walked right up to him and they arrested him. I don't know what to do. All right. It's going to be okay. It's not going to be okay. He's by himself. We have to do something. I am. I'm going down there right now. No, you're not. Jessica, this is enough for you. Harvey, from this second, you are an unindicted co-conspirator. And so am I. And so are you. Which means none of us can afford to be anywhere near Mike. I don't care. Someone has to do something. And if it isn't going to be you, it's going to be me. You're going to let her go down there? Harvey, she can knock on that door all she wants. They're not going to let her see him tonight. Besides, she's his fiancé. Seeing him is not going to make her look guilty. It's not going to make me look guilty either. It makes me look like I'm standing by my guy. No, what's going to keep you from looking guilty is you and I ripping up your letter of resignation. Jessica, I just made a deal with Forceman. He finds out that I'm still here, he picks up the phone, calls Hardman, and the two of them pick this place apart. And if whoever is prosecuting this case finds out you left on the same night they arrested Mike, then we may as well turn ourselves in. Which is why I need to get in there and talk to Mike as his lawyer. Then this is what's going to happen. You are now his lawyer. But you do whatever you have to do to work out of your house because I'm not telling anybody you resigned. This is AUSA Anita Gibbs with Michael Ross. Time is 11.05 p.m. Mr. Ross has agreed to confess with a stipulation that he do it on videotape. I actually never said I'd confess. I said I'd talk. You did say you'd confess. Well, maybe I did, but then again, I also asked to see my lawyer at 9.03. It's two hours later and I still haven't been able to do that, which means anything that I've said between then and now is not only inadmissible, it's also evidence that you violated my rights. Oh, I get it. You just wanted to get that on tape. Sure did. And if I don't see my lawyer in an hour, you better be able to prove that you've made every effort to contact him and couldn't. I know I'm not supposed to know these things because I'm not a lawyer, but I do. Because I am. Okay. Your lawyer actually did show up about a half hour ago. There seemed to be a little miscommunication about what room you're in, but that's all been straightened out. So, here he is. Robert. Oh, I see. You thought you were going to see Harvey Specter come in this room so you two could get your story straight. Apparently that's not going to happen. Now, normally this is the part where I leave the room, but... Almost looks like you want me to stay. Just so you know, we can't watch or record anything that happens in here. Attorney, client, privilege and whatnot. But if you're innocent of these charges, I'm sure you've nothing to fear being alone in this room with that man. 